Hey there, we're taking a look at Halo Infinite running on the Intel i5-11-35G7. Now, this is with the most recent drivers for this month. They actually released on the 23rd, I think is when they released. And so far, it seems like it has improved a lot of aspects that were still broken in this game. But as you can see, there are still some noticeable issues here and there. As you can see, the lighting in the background is all over the place. The load times are a abysmal so it took several several minutes just to load into the match it was pretty much just a overall slow experience but it wasn't a seizure inducing fest like it was before now the most recent driver update before this did have a massive improvement where it also got rid of a lot of the graphical issues but i was running into one where literally nothing else would render like it would not render the hud or anything like that this driver has has at least fixed that issue now i cannot get msi afterburner to actually work on this game right now i don't know why i've tried every single one of the most recent versions nothing seems to be working but you'll see that there are occasionally graphical glitches here and there but they are way more infrequent while playing the game that it's not to the point where you can't play it because before i mean it wasn't even rendering anything once i spawn in i didn't really see anything that was noticeably bad the problem is that the performance that you're getting out of this is really not great at all this is running at the lowest possible setting and already i have the render resolution target set to around 70 percent which is about like 768p which is pretty much the lowest that halo infinite lets you set the render resolution and really it's just a brutal experience overall i wish msi afterburner was actually working so that i could actually show you the numbers for it but just understand that this was not an enjoyable experience to play at all. So it seems like Intel is at least making some progress with their drivers, but there's still a lot of older titles that are running into issues. I'm going to be testing a lot more of those just to see if there's any improvements in the usual suspects. If there is, then I will be mentioning it. But if I don't make any video about it, just assume that they're still broken. But anyways, I will see you guys next time.